<laughs> Just, you know, making faces at myself. <laughs> Hello, everyone, and welcome back to uh, Scourge of the Dragon Sea. Live on Blue Pop uh, Stream. Live on Blue Pop Stream, I, yes. I can finally open this There bitch. it is. There it is. <laughs> um, I've been waiting. Now, we are back for, for some more adventures here in Ahoshikiri. Uh, who wants to tell me what happened last session? Well... Father Beefcake decided to finally heal Barry's mom. <laughs> <laughs> Father Beefcake. Uh, I think a lot of my NPCs just get new nicknames every time. <laughs> it seems to be a we, thing. We made Montu here bad lib uh, NPC up that just happened to be named L Dragon, so. Throw, throw him up on uh, on screen there, Itchy, and I'll, I'll drop his uh, mini here in. There you go. Our Discord chat. <laughs> and oh, he's so cool! Look at him. <laughs> Look at him. Perfect. This dapper little bargain. <laughs> and then I, Isvuk murdered someone in the streets, as <laughs> well disguised as a cultist. So became a scary murder hobo is what I have written in my notes. <laughs> <laughs> I just remember Not him wrong. as Murder Batman. Yep, Murder Batman. Yeah. Batman I had to resist the urge to say that. I had to resist the urge to call myself Murder Batman when he's doing that. So. The title best bestowed by someone else. Yes. <laughs> All right. Yeah. So, I think there's another point or two that was missed, specifically having to do with, quote, Father Beefcake. Um, yeah, he does want us to go find him, I guess, uh, presumably the next day, because um, greater restoration is expensive. And he wants us to do a thing for him. And regeneration is also a very high level spell. That yeah. too. Yep. Barry's mom woke up, so we celebrated with ale and soup. And uh, Lots of soup. Now we have to pay for services rendered to not only the church, but also the uh, tiefling who gave us the information. So that's when we're going back home. We gotta collect the prints first. Yeah. You know, our primary objective. Yeah, just, you know, on the way. Since we're here. Might as well. <laughs> <laughs> Who knows how it's gonna go? <laughs> All right, sure. So, um, <laughs> everyone can roll a long rest if necessary. Uh, because it is the next day. However, I just want to point out, how long are you away if, like, before you return to the ship? Oh, actually, you went to, to a, your room, didn't you? Yeah, I went to the inner room. Right, right, right. So, the party is currently split, then, as the new day dawns. Does anyone stand any sort of watch while sitting in harbor here? <clears throat> I think Simon will take a shift. But it will mm. be either first or last, whatever is... Most convenient for everyone else. I ain't watching Jack. <laughs> you partied. Simon did not get drunk, so he's not as affected as everyone else. Hadama zonks the fuck out. It's like, I need that right back time. I'm tired of Father Beef Cake. I've had it. I'm going to sleep. <laughs> time to Look, sleep I'm off happy the beef. She's better, but goddamn. <laughs> all right, all right. So, in that case, do you want first or last, Simon? Uh, I'll do first. Cool. Uh, roll me a perception check. Mm -hmm. Ooh, nice. Ooh. Ooh. All right. Um, is there a thing that I should roll that first? <laughs> cool. Cool, cool, cool. Um, yeah, it's a pretty peaceful uh, shift. You, you do hear some people kind of 
it's a little far off from where you are, but like in the distance, you hear um, people kind of rushing a little bit, as if there there was some sort of commotion um, by some of the taverns down the the pier a little bit. Mm-hmm. But um, it doesn't seem to be anywhere near you, and you don't work for this place. You mm-hmm. don't. You, you have no requirement to get involved if you don't want to. <clears throat> Valid. We have enough side errands on our plate to tackle. <laughs> You've picked up several side quests, yes. Uh, yeah, and then um, after a couple hours, uh, Eridrim actually comes and um, spells you off for for watch. Uh, he has his uh, well-worn but well-taken-care-of uh um, did I say it was a loot? Loot uh, with him. And as you go to your bunk, you can hear him playing and softly singing a song about the sea. Nice. Yeah. And then let me roll some more dice here. Let me open up his character sheet real quick. Cool. And all of you get to hear dice rolling. <clears throat> Speaking of... Yeah, that's totally not anxiety inducing. <laughs> <laughs> Speaking yeah, of music... Let me roll this real quick. 8d6. Um... Speaking of music real quick, I've been uh, sampling the current early access of Baldur's Gate 3 just to get myself psyched up for the full release over the last week or so. <laughs> I know, what, not one sponsored, of the, by the way. Yeah, one of the first things I tried was Bard, and what I really like about them is when they cast magic, there's like a twinge of music depending on what instrument you've got. Ooh. <laughs> so like I had a That's violin, a nice and like every time I cast a spell, you hear like a little twinge of violin music. It's pretty cool. Excuse me while I Google a uh, twinge. <laughs> Flare could be uh, an yeah. equivalent word. No, that's fine. I just I need to, I've I need to know the exact. <laughs> the like, what, what I don't even know if that's a real word. That's just what came out of my mouth. I've definitely heard it before, so you're in the clear. Okay. <laughs> Phew. Yeah, twinge is, is definitely a word. Is that going to be this week's tangent? <laughs> a sudden start to localized pain. <laughs> <laughs> uh, twinge or a trill would work for that. Trill, I, I think. That's what, what probably like what I meant to say. Twinge is a word. Yeah. This is true. Neither one fits. We know what you meant. <laughs> Post in the comments what your favorite weird word is. <laughs> oh. Oh. Ow. Okay. I, I get to I I've been putting off leveling up Aerodrome for a very long time. Mm-hmm. I'm no doing so, and I get to pick so many spells. Yeah. I'm also looking forward to our next level because I will finally get Action Surge. I'm looking toward to, forward to it as well for different reasons. <laughs> Probably murder-related reasons. Maybe. <laughs> <laughs> Well, I mean, everything I pick is murder-related. Valid. <laughs> you are the party stabber. Uh-oh. <laughs> He is going to take the spell Motivational Speech. Neat. I don't think think I know what that one does. I would imagine it motivates. I don't think I know what that one does. (laughs) I don't think he knows what it does, but he knows it. (laughs) Uh, Oh, oh no. It's it's from the... uh, um, What's the, the actual play that was on Penny Arcade? Uh, acquisitions Incorporated. It's one of the Acquisitions Incorporated spells. Okay. 
Uh, reading oh. directly from the spell description here. Mm -hmm. You address allies, staff, or innocent bystanders to exhort and inspire them to greatness, whether they have anything to get excited about or not. <laughs> Choose up to five creatures within range that can hear you. For the duration, each affected creature gains five temporary hit points and has advantage on wisdom saving throws. If an, an affected t bleh, bleh, bleh. if an affected creature is hit by an attack, it has advantage on the next attack roll it makes. Once an affected creature loses the temporary hit points granted by this spell, this spell ends for that creature. Is it any number? Oh, up to five. Yeah. It's honestly not that strong, but okay, whatever. That sounds he, he pretty good. That. Uh, yeah. that sounds like an alternate to Silvery Barbs there. Wait, if an affected creature is hit by an attack... It then gets advantage on its next attack. Yeah, but like, that specifies attack, which means something being subjected to a saving throw doesn't trigger it i guess yep you have to get smacked mm -hmm. or shot cool neato which... uh, he does have silvery barbs by the way <laughs> which is a busted op spell yeah silvery barbs is awesome yeah anyway uh yes morning comes uh let's start with Ithvuk. uh you wake up in your in room uh the voices that you have been hearing are still rather pleased with you. Um, they're not whispering about hunger right now. Um, oh good, what... you finally shut up for a second. <laughs> um, let me check that item, actually, real quick. Did I put it in here? If not, it's yes, in my inventory. Yes, I did, I did. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, did I give it stats? Because I should have. Because weapons you... of its type have, like... No, I, I mean... Because it's a sentient item, the spirit has mental stats. And I have not put those in here. And let me look <clears> at <throat> the monster that I based this on, too. Sorry. Uh, role play amongst yourselves while I do this. <laughs> I was just going to say that dealing with whatever's going on here is probably going to be a little more entertaining now that I am aware of the existence of Evan Kelp. Evan Kelm from Dimension 20. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. <clears throat> but yeah, I guess we all we all get up, carry out morning duties on the ship, make sure everyone's still alive and kicking. Yeah. Check on Barry's mom, make sure she's still okay. She is. If we're just gonna go get some breakfast. <laughs> Yeah, uh, it's it's not the most uh, fancy breakfast at your your little um, tavern B and B thing, um, but it is it, it's food. It's food. Food is good. It's like some potatoes. There, there's a little bit of um, like yesterday's stew left over it goes with it. Um, Look, if Luke is a sailor, he is used to stale food and salted shit. <laughs> this is good to him. Fair. Uh, I will need to actually update this in your inventory, so I'm going to delete and it come on, okay. and then put it back. So you get the updated version. There you go. Cool. <laughs> Oh sweet! Yeah, yeah actually, like, I was kind of some stats to mine. That's interesting. <laughs> oh no! <laughs> but yeah, um, notably, uh, the tiefling is not there when you wake up in the morning. She was, and she waved as uh, to say hello when you like arrived last night. But she is not there presently. Uh, it's fuck. Well, so nothing's happened to her. Oh well, continues eating and goes back to the ship. <laughs> <laughs> All right. So you arrive back at ship. Yeah, people have woken up now and are going about their morning. It is now seems really dark everywhere that I'm not. Now that I'm looking at my camera and lights starting to dim. <laughs> um, anyway, we'll carry on. Uh, of though, as I was walking back, I would have been listening for any talk. Okay, give me a. So you're actively listening then? Yes. Give me a perception check. Mm, nice. Uh, you catch 
the, the streets at, at this time, like it's probably eight in the morning, roughly. The streets aren't super busy uh, between the the tavern uh, and your ship, like all the way back to the, the docks. But uh, as you get closer to the docks, you do sort of overhear some people talking about uh, a, a mysterious killing and what the the only witness said she saw and like there's no way that it could have been true like that's just so outlandish it seemed like the the victim's soul was sucked out of him small smile will creep across that six face as he walks up onto the ship <laughs> <laughs> yeah you, you do catch like people talking like it, it she did say that he was the the victim had been attacking her blah 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 so like there's acknowledgement that this guy maybe wasn't the greatest person in the world. <clears throat> um, but yeah, they do think it, it's a weird thing that happened. When you arrive back to the ship, what is everyone else doing with their morning? Does Adema have morning prayers to do? Adema has prayers and serves up Lord Athasa whenever possible. Thank you very much. Fair enough. Fair <laughs> enough. <laughs> no, there's not explicitly morning <clears throat> prayers, but you know, it is what it is. Dear Thassa, did you fucking see those dudes? <laughs> <laughs> oh, he he did pray last night before the party. Yeah. <laughs> Dear Thassa, assholes, am I right? <laughs> <laughs> and yeah, so um I'm probably getting ready to head to A. The Temple of Lathander to say thanks. What do you need us to do? And B, prepare for a journey inland, right to Stagborn. Yeah. yeah, actually, on the note of working for that, neither me <clears throat> or each are aware of that yet. True. I think best idea is to go to the temple first. For all we know, what they want us to do might lead in the same direction as Stagborn. Maybe we'll get lucky. Perhaps. I'd rather talk to a priest before we leave town and find out what is needed to be done before we exactly. head out for several days. He might think we che cheaped out on him. And we have to go back here to our ship that he knows. Exactly. <laughs> so yeah, let's, uh, let's see what we can offer as a recompense for the healing and then see where we go from there. Yeah. Okay. I, I tell my mom where we're going and just tell her to like, you know, hang out, take a rest. Um, I tell, I tell, what's his name? Eridrim? Eridrim. I'll type Eridrim. it out in, in the, the chat here. I ask him to keep an eye on her while we're gone. Eridrim Salt, salt <clears throat> Spray is his chosen surname as well. Just making notes for myself for when I get to prep next week. Uh, yeah, you do that. She said, "Oh, of course. Um, be be safe. Um, and I'll see you when you when you come back." She, she gives it. you a hug. I tell her, "Don't run away again." <laughs> I. <laughs> she laughs a bit to to her uh, to about that, and also like seems almost. Um, ashamed a little. She's I I I won't at least not on this side of the world. And she winks. <laughs> okay, I'll see you when we get back. Yeah, she gives you a hug and a kiss on the cheek. Oh. And yeah, you guys are all set to head to the Temple of Lathander. Mm -hmm. <laughs> So you head out from the ship, and uh, three of you know the way here, even though Adema might not want to actually really go there himself. <laughs> um, but to describe it for the other two, the the plaza that they lead you to is, uh, there's a large ornate fountain in the center of it. There's several, you, you're, it's kind of like a temple district. There's several different uh, denominations 
uh, represented here. But pretty quickly, the, the rest of your party lead you to the Temple of Lathander. Did I ever show an image of Lathander's symbol? You described it, but I don't think we actually saw an image. I believe you Images. mentioned it was a sun and a road, if I remember right. Yes. So, so there's the, the like simplified version that is, um, you know, put on shields uh, that can be carried into battle or like battle standards, that sort of thing. And then there's this is the symbol that is on the. I'll put it in uh, our Discord channel here. Uh, th that is like quite prominent on the front of the building as like a stained glass window. Um, yeah, Itchy, if you want to carry it over and throw it up on, on stream. I should have had this prepared because I guess I just don't do that much. Um, I guess we don't do that here. Let me just pull it up in the browser uh, tab real quick. Yeah, there but is. that is the symbol of Lathander. And just searching Ooh. Lathander, I started getting like images of people's characters in Baldur's Gate. Huh. Yeah. But, um, yeah, you, you walk into the temple, um, pretty quickly, uh, one of the, one of the, the priests comes up and says, yes, what, what, uh, what can Lathander's Light do for you today? Again, uh, robes, uh, sleeveless, um, rather fit, most of them here. Um, yeah, it, it, again, there, there's not many people that you see here. It's still, it's probably getting closer to midday. Um, you see a couple uh, civilians in here praying, uh, talking to priests, things like that. It's like, yes, uh, <clears throat> what can I help you with today? Yeah, so, um, oh, sorry, go ahead. We're here to see Father Eric. Oh, are you're the one who who he helped, who you he helped your mother? Yes. Yes, that's, that's yes. me. Come with me. He he left in search. If you arrive to uh, bring you uh, straight back, um, he leads you back through the same uh, hallway to, um, uh, but goes past the chapel that you met Eric, uh, yesterday. Yeah, yesterday it would have been, um, and leads you into what looks almost like a small library. Uh, Father Eric is I was poring over scrolls uh, you see in the corner there's a couple priests like copying out scrolls um, as the way things were done before a printing press was invented and like it could be translations or things like that but people are um, making more copies of texts mm -hmm. uh, and the uh, priest leading you in uh, knocks on the door and says, uh, Father Eric, uh, your, the, the adventurers you were expecting have arrived. He says, yes, thank you. Um, I will see to them in a moment. Let me just finish up here. He leans down to the um, uh, individual. He, he like corrects a bit of their, their penmanship in the, uh, uh, the scroll that they're copying over. And they have a, a short conversation um, and then he, uh, excuses himself, comes over and says, thank you for coming. Um, we need to speak privately, um, back this way. And he leads you to the chapel he was in the, the day prior. Um, he says, so I, how, how is your mother doing? She's doing well. I've instructed her to, you know, take it easy for a couple of days, but she woke up this morning, so. Yes, that is that is very wise of you, and Lathander's Le blessing that she is she is doing well. I'm I'm very glad to hear that. Um, but the matter that I, I asked you here for, um, there, there he he pulls out a, a small scroll. I've received messages from um, temples of ours inland of a very troubling. A uh, very heretical sect that has arisen um, uh, inland of of here. Uh, it, they claim to be of the Morning Lord, and yet do things that our Lord finds abhorrent. I need you to find this false heretical prophet 
and eliminate them. <clears throat> Is there a way oh, we'll be able to clearly identify them versus other actual followers? He thinks for a moment. Then he says, You have experience with the undead, I assume. You've spent time in the, the Shadowfell. Yes. The reports here, he hands you the little scroll that he had in his hand. The reports say that this heretic is using the undead as tools. Um, claiming that it is to allow the souls of the dead to bask in the light of the Morning Lord for longer. Undead are absolutely ab abhorrent to our faith. Of course. Now, um, as that missive states, they can be found oh, about a day's ride from here um, in Fantasy Town gen Generator. <laughs> <laughs> Do. You cut off on our end. At least on my end. Oh, his own notes out. Oh, oh fun. No. Yeah, I heard L and <laughs> oh. let her know. L what? L what? Montu, Montu, come back. <laughs> <laughs> now we'll never know. The video connected thing came back. Lost connection to the server. Pardon while we wait for the technical difficulty to resolve itself. He do, says on his do, way do, back. If you feel sad, take a tip from me. Make a me. And once again, you'll be happy. <laughs> For a second I thought you were doing the Jeopardy song I'll be honest with you I didn't know what song I was doing when I started that I'm glad it ended somewhere recognizable <laughs> Yeah it's the meat channel <laughs> Are you back now Montu? Uh, I, I am here I still need to restart the server etc But I'm here Alright well you cut off in the middle of telling us The town name Yes uh, and it also because the computer turned off, the light turned off. Fun. Your uh, your name generator really hated your connection, dude. Apparently, <laughs> um, yeah, it is Elder Pass is the town. Okay. Do we know where that is versus Stagborn? Give me a either survival or history check. Your choice. Uh... Survival. I have one more attempt that with my guy. I have never been over here, as far as I know. <laughs> oh yeah, like it, it's for most of you, it's gonna be a pretty difficult uh, roll. Uh, I clicked it, but the roll's not happening. Oh, my connection. Everybody. Yeah, you're gonna have to refresh because okay. the computer died. Yeah. I had to restart my computer, so I had to restart the the server. It's Ava. Yep. And everyone is yet loading in. Oh, I can see. Yeah. The random name generator uh, generated Westminster. I think that's a real town. Yeah. <laughs> I ain't British, but I'm pretty sure it's a British town. <laughs> um, or, this sounds like a great place to live. Bleak land. Oh. <laughs> ah, anyway. yes, Bleakland. Bleakland. Show up there and it's a tropical paradise. Yeah, we named it this and so no one else would show up here. Uh, we hate tourists. With their, with their football, football team, the Bleakland Voids. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, 
Yeah. I'm just waiting for um, thing to load back up. History or survival checks from anyone who wants to attempt it. <clears throat> Hello, Clone RVN. Thank you for tuning in. Yeah, I'm stuck at my asphalt on my hand there. Pardon me while I try to get this working. Yep, that's about right. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> You know that Stagborn is somewhere west of here. <laughs> um, you've you've heard of Elder Pass. Um, you know that it's like between two hills. You're not really sure, but beyond that, awesome. The town called a pass is in a pass. How wonderful! Shocking. <laughs> <laughs> There we go. It's almost like, you know, names have meanings or something. <laughs> Definitely not pulling the shit out of my ass. Alright, let me try this roll now. Sure. What I didn't mean to click on. Not great. Yeah, you're you're not sure. Pardon me, Father Eric, but since we're not from here, would you mind directing us where we might find this place? I open the missive and check if maybe there's a map. Yeah, there is or, not. Or, yeah, it, the the missive does say that the uh, individual in question does seem to be spending a lot of time near the uh, um, the graveyard, as an undead user would do. You might think that, yeah. Yeah. Uh, do, <laughs> do we know this this uh, heretic's name? Uh, it is not in the missive, nor does Eric have an answer for you. Okay. Well, I found out by complete accident how to give money to other people. So, search for someone claiming to be a follower and priest of Lathander who is using the undead for ill means. Yes. Cool. Simple enough. Fair enough. Their fate is sealed. Hmm. Thank you. Thank you. And uh, Lathander light your path. Is there anything specific you require us to bring back as proof? I they probably have some sort of item that is a cha like a channeled focus for their their magics. Um you can't sit still either. All right. It would likely have lingering magical energy on it from their spells. That should suffice. All right, I think that's all the info I need, unless anyone else can think of anything to ask. I don't suppose you'd be willing to provide directions to this town. Yeah, oh yeah, you were asking about the directions. Uh, yes, um, he kind of looks around and says, Do you not have a map of Okara? We've been here for about a day, lad. Ah, yes. Um, Elder Pass will be on any map that you, you could acquire here. Uh, I would check with uh, adventuring, adventuring shops. They quite likely would have what you're looking for. Sounds like it's back to Walmart. Yep. Wal-mart. Two words, two L's. <laughs> <laughs> also not sponsored. Yeah. <laughs> for anyone who didn't see last week's episode. Two weeks ago. Yeah, you know what I mean? Yeah. All right. Yeah. Um, he uh, asked, and any other questions I, I can answer for you on this topic? Yeah, I think we're good. Get the map, find, find Elder Pass, and uh, look for the cultists raising the undead. Shouldn't be too hard. Yes. Um, Again, Lathander, light your path. I wish you luck with, with your journey and your hunt uh, and whatever other business you have here in uh, Hoshikiri or Okara at large. Thank you again for your help. Hmm. He bows, he, you know, makes a, a hand gesture as if to bless you um, and sends you on your way. All right. <clears throat> so I guess, yeah, we'll... Uh head back to the Walmart or any whatever 
adventuring shop might be nearby and see if you can get us a map. As we leave the tip bowl, I don't like these guys. <laughs> they seem harmless, and they actually helped us, so let's be grateful. Well, if you don't like them, you're in luck, because we're about to go put some of them down. It sounds like they're people they don't like. <laughs> you can pretend they're the real thing. They say they worship life and they're all the same. <sighs> you can use your imagination. Oh, right. Yeah, you... We'll, we'll kind of like hand wave the acquisition of a map. Um, you you can get a decent map of the area for like two gold. I'll, I'll, I'll pay that. Oh, okay. Sure. All right, there you go. Uh, notably, that gives you advantage on any like navigation checks needed while traveling, which would be a, a <clears throat> survival check. Okay, so now that I have something to reference. Now that we have the map, which town is closer? Uh, Elder uh, Elder Pass is closer. Um, they're both in generally the, the same direction, but it, it would... If Stagborn is about a day and a half's ride, it would be almost two days to get there if you're going to Elder Pass first. Okay faster trip that way overall then so i guess next to next thing to look into is transportation yes um who has i feel like i ask this almost every session um does anyone have a passive perception lower than 12 uh mine is 11 okay i'm pretty sure it's bet and barry that would yeah. Sorry, Simon and Barry. Mm -hmm. uh, no, Barry, I what? Think, I think mine's 13. Correct, yeah. So, um, yeah. Simon, you're. This is a lot of people and a lot of, a lot of different faces. Mm -hmm. Um, can kind of be a little overwhelming at times. Yup. Uh, I don't want to sound like I'm judging, but it's kind of funny that the bird guy is the one who has the worst eyesight. <laughs> <laughs> That's what makes me quirky. Uh, yeah. Yes, the owl always has glasses. Like, yeah. come on. <laughs> but everyone else, as you're uh, traveling around, you notice that um, in addition to the guards in very uniform armor of Hoshikiri, you also see that there are several individuals who are wearing, um, it seems like silvered scale mail with a large dragon head on one pauldron. Um, that seems to be a different um, military or paramilitary organization uh, uniform. Um, but you you make it to Walmart, and yeah, you get you get your map, and now looking for transportation. Right, um, you would know that there are usually stables near each each gate, um, and often they would have mounts or vehicles for purchase or you know uh, to rent, so to speak, for a time. Mm -hmm. So, yeah, I think we'll look into rental. Mm. Um, if it's two days to get to both towns, probably safe to rent it for four, maybe five days. We don't know how long mm. everything's going to take. Sure, I need a book for this. Now, are you wanting individual mounts or are you wanting some form of vehicle? The vehicles would need livestock to pull them as well of course mm. which everyone's cheaper i mean we probably we have to keep in mind that we're looking for the prince and we need him to come back with us so maybe a vehicle that can carry all of us plus one would be suitable mm -hmm. so we can all go in on the cost yeah who 
It's you have land vehicle proficiency, correct? Yes. Cool. That means you you know how to like drive a wagon or a cart, that sort of thing. That I can do. Yeah. Um. Let me do a quick roll here. Or a quick bit of math. So a wagon would probably comfortably set the five of you and the prince uh, if if you get him to return with you. Um, that for five days would probably run you probably ten gold on that. And then you'd need two draft horses for that. Yeah, which would be another 10 gold for the two days. Throw in feed, like 10 days of feed for the animals. Um, you are looking at a to and, you know, tack, etc. for the uh, beasts. That is 25 gold payable now okay so five gold each five gold each sure Done so. you go. that math took me way too long to figure out i was like there there has to be a step i'm missing here somewhere what's going on <laughs> <laughs> but we got there we got there yeah good 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 you have acquired a vehicle and uh animals to pull it Da, na, na, na. <laughs> Holds up um, horse. <laughs> <laughs> Just the whole wagon. <laughs> uh, yeah, you are good, good to go. Um, where to first? Uh, I should think we should head to Elder Pass if it's closer. Sure, you do so. Let me just check the maps here if I have anything. It's just like generic forest zone. I don't think so. Fuck. Uh, yeah, it's as you leave Hoshikiri, um, outside the walls, there's still, you know, a couple buildings set up as, uh, cities sprawl beyond their walls very frequently in, uh, this sort of time period. Um, and it's pretty clear fields outside the city as well. You can see, um, in this general area as i'm pinging the map like between the two gates um there was a large tournament ground set up uh that they're still taking down so very very recently they seem to have been a, a, a festival or tourney of some sort um, yeah, i'm so gonna turn on my office light real quick because it feels real dark in here even in spite of the ring light well sorry we missed whatever happened here Uh, yeah, you carry on inland, uh, within a couple hours you find yourself uh, breaking into a tree line, um, and could I get, uh, pretty quickly you actually, uh, come, hey, once you're into the tree line you come to a fork in the road, um, there is a sign that seems to be, have been worn down by time and the elements, uh, could I get a survival check? from someone to uh, decide, see if you know where you are going. Does anyone have better than a plus one? Would this be an advantage roll? Oh yes, you, you do have advantage on this because you have the map. Okay. Um, you look at the map and you see that you, you should take the north fork here as you pass through into the woods. Um, I do not have a map of inland Okara ready. I have a note to make one. <laughs> uh, it's book is it's just <clears throat> going to be like on the lookout for any potential threats sure. or even additional food on the way out there. So, sure. Um, ah, uh, uh, yes, the unrendered forest. Yes, <laughs> uh, I will ask you to choose one of those and then give me the relevant check. Um, 
Looking for food is a survival check. Looking for people is, or like threats or whatever, is a perception check. Uh, that was more like rolling it into living things. Okay, so, so anything you could hunt, got it. Yes. Uh, yeah, give me a perception check. Um, for 24. anyone who is not driving Ooh. or actively doing something like looking outwards, this is potential downtime if you had any activities you wanted to do there that could be brought with you. Um, I don't think I have it imported here, and I will try and find it, but there's a whole bunch of... Uh, there's a guide for, like, different things that you could do with... Um, downtime? No, yeah, with, with downtime and your uh, toolkits that you have. That is actually really, really nice. Like, uh, um, uh, Smith's tools could be used to maintain weapons, which gave them, like, a one-time extra D6 to an attack roll, I think it was? And me metallic armor could be uh, maintained, giving it a d6 of damage reduction to one source of damage as well. You, every, like, I think every short rest you could do three items maintenance or something like that. It was really, really handy. I, I will talk to a buddy to get that because it's <laughs> really nice. Um, yeah, sorry. Side tangent there. Yeah, you travel through. Now, we're also going to say that you left the city around, like, noon-ish. Mm -hmm. Uh, yeah. Um, and before too long, um, or 24, um, you are often, like, very, very perceptive, Ithuk. Um, you are keeping watch around. Uh, this is a, a reasonably well-traveled road, however. Like, you you are... As much as I'm not describing them, there are other people passing you uh, every once in a while on the road. Um, usually people just, like, give a, a kindly wave to fellow travelers. Um, and there isn't really anything that jumps out at you as particularly, particularly unusual in that situation. Um... Now, the amount of traffic through here, like this is this is a, a well-traveled road that, that you're on. Um, you don't really see any animals or anything like that particularly close, like just from the uh, road that you're on itself. Um, you get the sense that if you are wanting to hunt proper, you would probably need to go like a fair distance away from the road into the forest. Yeah, that's fair. Just off chance that ha something happened along. Anyone is doing with their time? I'm focused on driving. Yes. What is Kai up to right now? <laughs> Kai's just keeping an eye, looking around. He's not really doing anything in particular. He's just enjoying the ride. Sure. I am checking a book I have because it has some stuff to do with toolkits. Hey, Marcus. Yeah. Stuff with what you can do with toolkits. Is that in Xanathar's or Tasha's? I, I honestly don't know. <laughs> I'm pretty sure it's Tasha's. As I just like looked at the table of contents in Xanathar's and saw nothing about it, so... Yeah. Default. Default. Yup. All I know is I only have these tools, so I can set traps, but that's about it. Hmm. And I have a healer's kit. Yeah. I have playing Heroes cards. Kids can have useful stuff, if I remember right. What the hell? Am I just blind? So magic items. Sidekicks. Yeah. It's in one of these books. I shouldn't shouldn't look at it mid-session right now when I'm not for sure where it is. Uh, to the yeah, end. we'll find it some other time. Yeah. <laughs> Five E toolkit uses. They don't want a forum post. 
Uh, so a healer's kit you said you have? Would you happen yes. to have an herbalism kit? I have that as well. Cool. An herbalism kit uh, can be used to brew healing potion. Nice. Uh, this site has no actual like breakdown on what to do with it. <laughs> um, uh, it does help you identify plants. Uh, yeah. Yeah, you used it earlier on that plant that was in the the pirate. Floor. Yeah. Yeah. I remember uh, things sometimes. This proficiency allows for crafting of healing potions and uh, the the supplement that has the tool kits. I think it's Stipples Codex or something. Not Stipples. I'll message my buddy. Okay. Anyway, so we're good. Someone want to roll me a d20 real quick? Anyone? Just a flat d20. There you go. Thank you. Nice. Okay. For some reason, that roll, tried to roll two for me, so. <laughs> <laughs> uh, all right. Cool. Uh, as the sun starts to dip below the horizon, um, and off to the west, you do see on the horizon, um, the, the outlines of two hills in the distance, and you get, get the feeling that that is approximately where you're headed on the way to, uh, Elder Pass. Um, you come to what seems to be a bit of a, a clearing on one side of the road. The sun's not all the way down. You could probably get, get a decent bit more um, travel in, but you come to a very natural healing uh, clearing in the forest uh, around the road. Um, and to those of you with some, especially land-based travel experience, this seems like a great place to, that you could rest for the night if you wanted to have a more comfortable rest rather than get, get where you're going as fast as absolutely possible. Uh, how much farther till Elder Pass from here? It's probably another half day. And when, what time of day is it now that we've reached here? It's just before sundown. That's the best way to say it. So if we continued, we'd be making it into town at night. Um, if you continued until you got to town, it would be like, it would be closing on midnight at least. Yeah. What do you guys think? Well, no, could particularly thrilled about pulling into a potentially undead zone in the dead of night. That's what I was thinking. Yeah, we should probably stay here. Y'all do need to see where we're going to be useful, so let's take a rest. <laughs> sure. Um, you... Any thoughts? Nope, yep, I don't want to go in there, over there in the dark. Valid. No, thank you. Uh, you pull off to the, uh, into the clearing, um, and pretty quickly get, like, a, a very makeshift, uh, camp set up. Uh, you do see that there, there are several points that, like, other people had had campfires set up. It seems like it's a pretty, uh frequently used rest station along the road here, so to speak. Um, yes, Nook is going straight off to find something to eat. Sure. Uh, give me a survival or perception check. I have a feeling I know which one you're going to choose. <laughs> Not as good as the last one. Yeah. You... Um... Which book uh, would this be I, in? Where is... Of note, though, it is night now, so nothing yes. would be able to see me. True, you are correct. <laughs> now, out of curiosity and obviously out of character, are you looking for something to eat 
physically or eat soul wise? <laughs> obviously food, actual food. <laughs> I do have like a, f a few days worth of rations on me still. Yeah, but we're on land. May as well eat something tasty. All right. Could you roll me a D100, my friend? Fifty-nine. Okay. Cool. Cool, cool, cool. <laughs> Each book has appendices for itself, but not really beyond that. However, in the dark, you have 90 feet of dark vision? Yep. Cool. You... Give me a stealth check as well, actually. If you... I imagine you're trying to sneak through the forest. You know what? I'm gonna... Since I have a bow and a dark vision as well, I'm gonna go with him and give him the help action on whatever he needs. I mean, sure. that would have advantage in this respect anyway. Oh, oh yeah, he he's he he does the sneaky in the dark. Valid. <laughs> uh, yeah, you find it honestly doesn't really take that long. You find a um an axe beak nest. Um, sounds pointy. It is a. Kind of like a chocobo with an axe beak. I, like with, yeah. with a, a beak oh that God. at its tip, like it flares out like an axe. I'm Actually, we kind of have those in 14 too. I'm trying to remember, there was some animated movie where there was like a bird with an axe face. Uh, the Quest for Camelot. That's it. Now that was a chicken that got thrown into like a weapon fusing pot <laughs> with an axe. Yeah. That's it. It was a chicken with an axe for a face. Yeah. It was whole best character in the movie. <laughs> um, now an axe beak, and they called it blade beak, not axe beak. Different sub races. Yeah. Um, God help us if we find a spear beak. <laughs> honestly. Uh, a land swordfish. <laughs> yeah. But it can fly. It's a bird. <laughs> um, apparently, there is an axe beak Final Fantasy creature, and it does not have an axe for beak, and I am disappointed what? about it. Right? What game anyway. is it from? I ever uh, to like uh, outside of uh, the Hills Village. This is a creature in. I got this up now. 9, 11, 12, and 14, and Tactic A2, Grimoire of the Rift, and Crystal Defenders. Oh, so a good amount of them. Yo. Oh, this fucker. <laughs> anyway. <laughs> the tangent. recognition. <laughs> this is Stream of the Tangents. Yep. Uh, this is an axe beak. I am going to put it here. Paste. Um thrilling gameplay for everyone watching i know yeah. let me uh, pull that image up on the yeah. stream yeah uh now you it is approximately dusk dusk o'clock <laughs> yeah the these so simon have you gone with him to attempt to hunt yeah Roll me a stealth check. Okay, okay. Cool. Uh, yeah, you guys come to this small family of, um, you assume this family. You, you see, uh, three adult axe beak and four, uh, fledglings. Actually, before we go forward, I... I believe it's actually counting my... It's counting a plus six there to my stealth. Is that normal? Do you have um, expertise in stealth? I shouldn't. Why is it li Why is this labeling I have expertise? What? I, I haven't reached expertise do you, do you yet. Get... 
You get expertise at first level rogue. Yeah. I've got uh, it. Do I? Yeah. Oh, brain. Why is it telling me that? <laughs> I got confused. <laughs> I'm sorry. Yeah. Also, I, I feel like you get some benefit to stealth from Gloomstalker as well. But I could be crazy. Yeah, that it's the invisible. an option. There you go. It's the invisible. But that's what the advantage is. Yeah, 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 yeah. Sure. You, yeah, you find this family of axe beaks. Um, yeah, three adults, four fledgling axe beaks. Um, they have not noticed you. I'm going to attempt to get into close range. <laughs> Meanwhile, Simon will have summoned his packed bow. Hmm. I will also now have my cutlass and my gun now. <laughs> cool. Yeah. Simon is going to wait for Ithvuk to strike one and then be ready with his bow trained at a different one. So the second one goes down, he can strike a second before any of them have time to react. Sure. Um... Neat. Cool. Uh, yeah, they have not noticed uh, you sort of slowly creep forward, Ithvuk, and you get uh, in range to uh, potentially strike before you are noticed. Well, this is where things are going to get a bit messy. <laughs> As, uh, I'm dual wielding, so I'm going to do three attacks and have a reaction when one tries to run. Yeah. That's what I'm going for. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, go for it. Well, then I'm good to go afterwards and hit whatever one you don't. So you're starting with the bang. <laughs> yes. Okay. And they haven't noticed me, so... Nice. Then you are an unseen attacker. Uh, that hits. <sighs> Ooh. Damn. Do you want to put your sneak oh, attack on, on the piercing damage? Mm, no, nah, I'm going to use it for this one. Sure. Would that have broken my stealth? Just checking before I. This, roll is, the next this one. is all kind of happening at the same time. Um, okay. Yeah. I'm assuming hit. Yep. Cool. Plus three. And then I'm my gonna stop you there. I'm, I'm gonna stop you there. <laughs> <laughs> um, you shoot this bird, and before it gets a chance to like squawk, you slash with your cutlass, and it. Uh, collapses to the ground um, dead Simon mm -hmm. as all of this is happening um, you are as yet unnoticed but with the loud bang there are cries of alarm from the remaining axe beaks which all turn uh, in an attempt to run away uh -huh. you would have advantage on your attack roll okay alrighty Nice. Yep, that hits. Okay. Cool. That's to attack um, a different one than he attacked. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, the, the one that he attacked is dead. Yeah. Yeah, that one is still standing after that attack. Mm hmm Okay, uh, now I just have the mental image of me killing something, then three seconds later, Simon shooting it. <laughs> <laughs> that is not what's happening. Um, so you you shoot a an arrow-like bolt of your packed longbow's energy uh -huh. uh, at the axe beak, and it embeds itself in the, um, like, in one of the wings 
uh, but the bird continues to run. Uh, they are actually kind of speedy. No, they're not fighting a tarrasque. <laughs> I certainly hope not. <laughs> you, you, you're not. It's just the page that I opened up to there. Uh, yeah, they have 50 feet of movement in a round. They suddenly digivolve. <laughs> Into world-ending threats. <laughs> it's a warp digivolve. It's <laughs> one heck of a digivolve. Anyway. <laughs> uh, yeah. Um. You... Oh, let's let me roll to see how far into the brush they get before Itchy would get another bow shot. Uh, D. Yeah, you absolutely get another shot. Um, so, you know, essentially next round. Uh, they are out of range for your your gun. Uh, Marcus, I fuck. Wouldn't have time to switch to my bow, would it? Um, if you Actually, drop... Hold on, what is the range on this gun? The gun is... Let's just bring out all the books. Because there is two ranges for ranged weapons. Yeah, I believe it's 30, 90 or something like that. Yes, all of the roll tables for like dungeons and stuff. Table of contents, save me from this. <laughs> Hunting everybody. <laughs> yep. Holy shit, you have 600 feet on that bow? <laughs> oh, you have 15600. And if you take Sharpshooter, you have 600 slash infinite. <laughs> Holy shit. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Uh, you essentially, you no longer have a close range and anything beyond the long range is disadvantaged compared to you really can't get beyond the long range and beyond short range is disadvantage. So like beyond 150 with a longbow, is disadvantage right now, but if you have sharpshooter beyond six, like up to six hundred, is a normal attack roll. Nice. It's insane, and like I have never seen a battle map that was six hundred feet across. Yeah. But that's also not why you take sharpshooter. You take that for the plus ten damage for losing five attack. Yeah. Yeah. Who knows? Maybe I could use it to snipe whoever's driving a ship out on the ocean. Yeah, let, let's operate yes. on 3090. All right, that'll work. That's fine. Uh, but yeah. We got something. <laughs> yeah. Oh, you you killed that bird so hard. <laughs> anyway. Uh, yeah. Uh, Simon, go ahead and take a second shot at this uh, bird. Okie dokie. Still with advantage or not? Uh, no. Well, doesn't good. matter <laughs> does not matter <laughs> you you hit you actually rolled better without advantage than you did with it <laughs> well the damage wasn't as good uh yeah it it lives that i hit this, yeah. the same one i hit before a second time and it's still alive yeah okay. yeah they are hardy birds damn yeah and then it is, unless you're breaking from the cover you have, um, it's probably going to be out of range because it, they are dash actioning away. Mm. Yeah, which means 100 feet and around. Yeah. Going to take yeah. a moment to look in the nest, see if there's anything in there before heading back to camp. Give me an investigation check. Or perception check, whatever. Like they're kind of the same shit in this situation. The way I always saw it is perception is seeing something that is there, whereas investigation is searching to see if something is there. Yeah, valid. Um, give me a perception check first to just like look. 
like actively look around. That's a fucking one. Oh <laughs> shit. You ain't see shit. There's okay, a big so dead bird here. <laughs> there's, there's, a, there's a big dead bird here. You're not even sure of that. <laughs> You're pretty sure you killed a bird here, so there's probably a dead bird here. Yeah. Actually, I've no. What I just so I know before I click the check mark here, would I have gotten uh, inspiration not to start? Yes. Okay. I'm not going to use that. I'm just checking to make sure. Okay. okay. <laughs> I think because we do do the recaps, I might scrap that. But at this point, I haven't yet. So we're good. I mean, uh, I'm going to do with yeah. the recaps. Oh, I know. <laughs> um, if you want me to stop, I'll stop and have people do the... Yeah. No, you're, you're like, the, the recaps are fine. It's just like... If you remember what's going on, if part of this is also you, you kind of want to switch up who's doing the recap every week, too. Anyway, this is like a po post-game discussion. You killed a bird. <laughs> <laughs> Carry it back to camp. That's a big bird, too. They're very slowly very Carry large. back to camp. <laughs> There's two of us here. We should be fine. Yeah. Uh, yeah, yeah. Like the two of you, kind of buddy carrying it, can get it back. Um, I imagine everyone else is like getting the horses sort of situated, uh, and such back at camp, getting you know tents pitched, a fire fire lit. Um, yeah. Uh, it's probably been. Between leaving and coming back, it's probably been um, about an hour total. Like you, you, axe beaks are not small birds that hide in the undergrowth super well. Uh, yeah, and so the sun is getting like very, very low in the sky now. Um, Barry, you see. Ithuk and Simon emerge from the tree line, carrying a very, very large bird with an axe for a beak. <laughs> well, this may be a this may be a cooking challenge for you. I guess bird steak for dinner. <laughs> <laughs> We'd have gotten yeah. more, but someone someone uh, wasn't as accurate with the shots as they should have been. I mean, bold of you to think <laughs> that we will be finishing this tonight. Um. <laughs> But <laughs> that's that's a lot of bird, dude. That's a lot of bird. <laughs> uh, no, he's gonna slightly tap e Ichi on the shoulder for that one, Simon. It's like I tried. How, how esque a whole cow you have brought us. <laughs> I tried. Yeah, yeah. You did that, good. Like, you, you, you did good. Team hunting often goes this way. Mm -hmm. he, he, he's just giving you shit. I'm not being serious. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Uh, <laughs> yeah. So you guys actually have a, have a great like camp situation. Could you give me a what kind of check have we been using for cooking? Oh, just to see the, actually, the quality of the meal you make out of out of this stuff. You are able to. Um, Due to backstory, can I give her advantage Preserves. on this? Yes. Okay, cool. You have advantage okay. on this check. <laughs> um, that would be in the same fucking book, and I don't know where it is. Uh, let's call it a survival check with advantage and your proficiency, regardless of your proficiency. Actually, if you're proficient in survival as well, Barry. Mm hmm. I am. Uh, add it twice because you're also proficient in cook's utensils. Okay. Ooh. Ooh. Yeah, do you, you guys have some, like, great, like, it takes a little, little bit more time to really cook because this is, this is a, you know, there's a lot of bird. It's... It's, it's a big bird. Um, yeah, but you, you get into it and like, 
this is a delicious meal that you, you've had on the road. Um, yeah, it's a good time. I think uh, um, so at this point, while everyone's having a good time, Simon will pull out something he hasn't had a chance to do, uh, nor before recently, be able to do it with, and uh, pull out his playing card set and offer everyone to play a nice hey. game of cards. Nice. I'll play. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Adema, Kai, would you like to engage in some some cards? Out of character, don't let don't let his foot deal. <laughs> <laughs> I think Simon would know not to. Um, I will play. Is there because a I do special have a fancy name for the playing card set in fifth edition. It's like you have dragon chess instead of just chess. Uh, there, it'll say either cards. It'll say either playing yeah. card set or gaming set. Yeah, I know there's a gaming set, um, and there are, it actually lists several types of games, and we physically have a copy of uh, Three Dragon Ante sitting on my sh uh, nice. shelf over there. We've never played it, but like that's that is actually also a card set in here. I have yeah. there's a regular card and Three Dragon Ante. I have a physical yeah. set of Tetra Master from Final Fantasy IX, which was only released in Germany. Really random. Yeah, <laughs> according to what I read, at least. So, hearing back from my buddy about that supplement, um, he linked me the free version of it. Uh, he himself paid into the, the Patreon to get the, um, the full version. And the creator who's, who's online as Kibbles, people might know me, it's Kibbles Compendium. Uh, Kibbles Crafting Guide is the free version. And there's Kibbles Compendium of Craft and Creation. Say that ten times fast, please. Um, <laughs> I guess he's developing a foundry module for it that you can get if you sub to his Patreon as well, once he's finished with it. Cool. Yeah, and I will take a look at that PDF and link it to all of you so you know what your um, tool proficiencies do. Oh, there is this dice set, dragon chest set, playing card set, and three dragon ante set. Um, According to my inventory, so... I have playing card set and gaming set. You have both. Well, ga these are all types of gaming sets. Yeah, so I guess the playing cards. Yeah, yeah. Um, those are probably also the... Between that and dice would be the easiest to actually transport. Mm -hmm. um, Through Dragon Ante would also have, like, chips and such. It's like a kind of like in-universe poker. Uh, I should Dragon ask. Dragon Chess is a chess board with you. <laughs> there is a minor side note here. Do I actually increase my counter tonight or no? Yes. Okay. Um, I will just tell you because I'd be a dick to not. It is sent here. Um, you, you're looking for sentient souls. Okay. Uh, it. Angry vengeful spirits aren't exactly angry and vengeful at miscellaneous birds and animals and such. <laughs> Otherwise, just buy a bunch of rats and you're good for a while. Yeah. <laughs> like, ah, yes. Tasty, tasty rats all. Right? Here's what you that do. Doesn't... You take off the mask, you put it in a rat's nest so they nibble on it and it gets so pissed off it wants revenge. Boom. <laughs> now, are we gaslighting some sort of other planar god? This is in-game exploits, all right? This is a pro game. In -game <laughs> Congrats, you found a glitch in D&D. Either that happens or one of the rats attunes to the oh. mask. No. <laughs> the rat man. You've heard of uh, murder Batman. Try murder rat man. <laughs> or I guess in so this case it's reverse, so it would be man rat. You know. <laughs> <laughs> oh god you know you, you know the whole man bad thing it on your enemies perfect point <laughs> <laughs> anyway i'm sorry i digress go ahead <laughs> i am the wheel that turns in the night <laughs> oh my god anyway yeah honestly i think that's a pretty good stopping point for the evening sure and for uh for anyone watching who would be 
who's trying to follow along with episodes. We are not playing next week, but the Monday following we will be back. That will be the, I believe the 14th? Uh, yes. Yeah, the 14th of August, we will be back. 8 o'clock EST uh, here on Bluebot Stream. I will be yeah. there if we have internet at the new place I'm moving to. By then. Okay. Hoping for that then. Cool. Yeah. Just keep us posted. We'll see. We'll see what's up, buddy. Um, I yeah. move at the 11th, so that's why. It's pretty close to the two. Yeah. You could have um, internet up. Yeah, like, just call call whatever the ISP there is and get them to install it, like, next day or whatever. I'll try. <laughs> yeah, we will be off Usually next week. Usually it's, like, is... essentially someone has to come and, like, plug, like, flip a switch, more or less. Yeah. But yeah, it's anyway. Santa holiday next week, so we'll be off. Yes, yes, it is. Uh, for our Canadian, uh, is it Canadian or just Ontario that gets a civic holiday? I've never been sure. I'm not sure. Um, I think most provinces have something, but it, it's not yeah. all just like no I don't civic think it's holiday. It's all called civic holiday. Yeah. <laughs> but um, yeah, we are taking next Monday off because for most of the party that that, that is in Ontario, it's a holiday anyway. And also Baldur's Gate 3 and people want to play it. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Largely that. If, if anybody has issues, blame Blue Pop up here. We're going to be taking a... We're gonna be, I just love the idea of taking a break from D&D to play D&D. Yep. <laughs> yes, that, pretty that much. Is, that's what's happening. That is the situation. <laughs> <laughs> All right. So we'll start at the bottom and go up. Um, Kai, Tyrant, what was your favorite part of the evening? Going back to Father Chad's and everybody not having that much attitude this time. Not that much, but as soon as you left, I was like, I fucking hate those guys. <laughs> <laughs> Which is great because I, I mean, I, I never met before. In space now. Fair, fair. Um, actually, before I forget, Simon, uh huh, do you have inspiration right now? No, you took it away last week for one of my jokes. I'm giving it back because the character wanted like bringing out the playing card set to play with people. That's great. Okay, cool. Uh, I, I like that. I like that a lot. <laughs> uh, anyway, uh, Simon, Itchy, what was your favorite part of the evening? Simon always likes to be useful where he can, so I think getting to finally put his land vehicle expertise to use in driving the wagon was an enjoyable moment. <laughs> yeah. Uh... Marcus, Ithfuck, character name, person name. Uh, honestly, I'm gonna have to say, be coming back to the ship, hearing the people talking about it, and just giving the ev totally unseen evil smile. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's like, yes, I am doing something in the world. <laughs> Edema. This is going to be a bit of a deep cut, but probably my favorite part was how bad I feel that Aerodrim always brings out his loot and plays music and no one gives a fuck. <laughs> <laughs> I said it was nice. Oh, like it's he's, probably he's four talented. separate occasions he's busted that bad boy out. And I'm like, huh, that's neat. And no one asks about it. <laughs> I was What's tired. Like, I care in my heart. I just it's, don't it's realize really, it. I, I said it was nice. I yes, said it was will. nice, but I was too tired to follow up on that. Everyone else is doing other shit whenever he does it. And I feel bad because I make a mental note and I'm like, damn, I should ask about that. Eh, maybe later. <laughs> the character has literally either been busy or not there. When, it's <laughs> when least we expect it, he's going to bust out some bard magic. <laughs> I mean, he has been. <laughs> yeah. Heroism is real great on your barbarian. By All the right. way, temp HP and resistance to damage. Hello? <laughs> Uh, anyway, uh, and then, yeah, Barry, what was your favorite um, part of the evening? I'll have to say right at the end, figuring out the logistics of taking Ithic's mask into a rat's nest. <laughs> I really enjoyed that. The tangent. The <laughs> tangent yeah. was the best part. Oh, the the tangents lead to some great moments. The legend <laughs> of the man rat. rat. Yes, but. <laughs> and? Uh, <laughs> We get laughs out of it. That's the important part. We're enjoying ourselves. Yeah. <laughs> All right. Yeah. So do we have a name for the episode? Figured since we 
are no longer naming them before episodes, but naming them at the end, I figured us coming up with a name could be another segment we do here together. The journey continues. <laughs> have we already used that? Like, no, we haven't used that one. <laughs> I don't think we have anyway. Let's just. I don't think we have. On the road again. How, how about westward? There we go. Westward works. Cool. All yeah. right. Again, thank you everyone for watching this episode of Scourge of the Dragon Sea, even though they're not currently at sea. Um, I'm sorry I didn't get to murder anyone this time. <laughs> you murdered the bird. You, you, you we killed super kill the bird. <laughs> <laughs> I super kill everything. A big, ugly, mean bird. <laughs> I don't know. They all seem to run pretty quickly. That, bird, be that, mean. that bird was uh, a dick. <laughs> in... <laughs> The Forgotten Realms setting of um, Icewind Dale, they're actually used as mounts because horses don't like the cold. You did describe them as chocobos. You, you made us kill a chocobo. How dare. <laughs> You've played 16. He, he described them as chocobos before we did anything, and you chose to hunt them. Yeah, you chose to shoot it. <laughs> <laughs> uh, yeah. Um, big chocobos with, with blades for beaks. Don't know what to tell you, buddy. Anyway, yes, everyone, thank you for watching. Tune in two weeks from now. Asterisk. Like, follow, subscribe, ring the bell, all of the things. There's good content here. Uh, I know Itchy recently uploaded uh, the VOD of a, a Final Fantasy duel tournament yeah. that happened over the weekend. Um, it's not just D&D stuff, but there is D&D stuff. Check it out. It's all fun. It's yeah. funny. Check him out on um, TikTok. Uh, Super Ichi, I believe. Su Super Formi. It's either Super Ichi or Super Formichi. One of those. Yeah. <laughs> Super Ichi was taken. Yeah. Um, have a good night, everyone. Ichi, do your little throw off. Yeah. Thank you again to everyone watching, whether it's live or on the VOD. And we're going to raid <laughs> my stream on buddy Snowy Bug. Uh, he is currently playing Pokemon Unite. I wonder if he's using a snob, because that's a snowy bug. <laughs> uh, <laughs> looks like he's playing Sylveon right now. Okay, I've never played Unite. <laughs> Not my thing. Uh, anyway, have Bye. a good night, everyone. Bye-bye.